All right. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create your own get DP profile so that participants for your event, your online program webinars can add their own picture and even name to your flyer. Right, so the first thing you want to do is to ensure that you create a template. All right, create a template and create a provision in your template for persons to add their picture. I prefer a circle like this, just a circle like this, and a place where they can also add their name, like this one right here. So this, once you've created this with your smartphone or with your PC, then you are good to go, all right? So let's go into this guy here. Yeah. So I'm going to go to getdp.co, all right? So once you see this, you will see many samples here. Right, so you can even click on any of them just to give you an idea of what other people are doing. As you can see right here, as you can see right here, it is a square design, and then you can see there's a provision here, a circle. You can see the pattern. Right, if you want to get see more examples, you can see them here. You can see I will be attending templates. Just create a provision for a circle. Where persons can actually put their name or a square. For me, like I said, I always prefer a circle like this. All right, so let's get into the tutorial proper. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to click on this guy here that says get started. All right, so I'm going to click on that. Click on get started. So you'll be asked, or the prompt will tell you to sign up your email address. Or whatever you want to sign in with, all right. So, me, I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in right here. Okay, so I've signed in, and you'll see some of the, the, the templates I've created. Okay, so but I'm going to start this one afresh, all right, because let's let's see if we can even edit this one. But I prefer to start afresh. So, if you want to start afresh, you're going to go over here, create a new dp banner all right i'll click on it now now the first thing you will be required to do is to add the basic information what is this banner about all right so let's come over here and see the phone mastery workshop okay so put the name there the phone mastery workshop all right then the description, we can just copy the description here. Alright, copy. Okay, I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Where are you now? Okay, I've pasted it. Then the next thing, they're going to ask you for the category. Right, so for this, I'm gonna put um, okay, let me put tech. All right, then they'll ask you for tags. Okay, I want it to be, I will be attending. Okay, um, visibility, turn it on. All right, so let visibility be on. Don't put it private. If you put visibility, it means that it's going to be accessible via this home page. Your banner list and direct link when we put private it means that only a accessible when you click the link but allow it to be visible unless you don't want it to be public no problem then you can come over here you can see the maximum size for the banner is about 10 megabytes so ensure that your 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 banner which you have saved is not more than 10 megabytes Right, so I'm going to click on add cover here, and the photo will be added. Right, you will see it will be added. Cool, now it has been added. I'm going to reduce it like this. Now, 
the next thing you're gonna ask you what is gonna be your hashtag okay so let's say hashtag um funny are you, are you seeing that now okay so you can add your hashtag this one this cta is optional all right if you click here you can see it's not it's not a must all right so it says specific call to actual link for people blah 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 blah, blah. it's not a must all right so i'm going to leave that out now once persons creates their their or whatsoever their banner you want them to go you take them to your page so let me show you what you can add there but it's not a must so i can add this website there because this is a cta right this is this is the action i want them to click on the link so i'll put the link there all right then the text here will be okay let's say register now all right you are done right the next thing you go to click on next click on next now if you click on next you see this circle is appearing here i would prefer you use put your phone on desktop mood desktop site all right so that you can have this view okay then you can just come here adjust it all right adjust to increase the circle small and adjust it let it sit properly inside this white circle all right almost there let it sit properly inside yes okay i think it's it's not perfect but this is this is it then once you are done i think the next thing click on next the name this is the domain name now so already i created a white background so that the name will appear very very well so i'll come here and i will reduce the this the font to maybe 14 let's see all right let me go come here reduce it you can see all right you can see the domain name is there all right okay then i can come over here okay i'll click here i'll click the what is it i'll click here okay so that the name will be at the middle like this cool are you seeing that now then the next thing is that you the image is said the name is said click on this guy that says publish review so let's see all right are you seeing that now but remember in the original design the one i created there is the name is showing so that name should should be out all right so when you are done with all these things you cannot click on publish but i don't want to publish it now because i made a mistake so let me correct the mistake now so i want to correct the mistake i'll come over here i'll remove this name this name that's showing here i'll delete it and i'll save it again so let's let's go back all right okay you can see that the name is showing very well dominate you can see it very well it's showing clearly now and everything is perfect then i will click now on publish when you are done with everything you want to do click on publish all right just once once you click on publish once you will see this guy here all right you can see it here now okay so let's copy it okay we can copy it like this all right then we'll go over let's say okay let's click on home okay okay let's click on let me take it here let's click on home and then let's paste that link and see what will happen so i've pasted the link now see this is, this is the result so it means anybody that click on that link can come over here and they will see they will see this information so let me come over here now look at it where you have your name here i can type my name here ni hamuda right this is the way anybody is going to see it ni hamuda then i can come over here click on the plus icon and then i can add my image I can add that my, my image make sure you have an headshot right it's not properly added have an headshot 
for for you to get the perfect okay then after you've done that then you want to click on generate my dp all right and it will be generated after it's generated i think it will now redirect the, the person to the website where they can register for this fun mastery workshop i think that is all for this tutorial i hope you understand very very well thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video share with a friend and subscribe so when you are done it's loading all right so when you are done i think you can hold this image like this and you can download it all right you can hold it and download the voice loading you just load when you finish loading then the person will be able to download it i think that's it thank you for watching